Welcome to the Clarity Games with your hosts, Lynn, Elaine, and Greg. Let's welcome this week's contestant, Vadim Shelkovnikov. Now let's play some Clarity Games. In game one, so game one is I Wonder. This happens to be one of our favorite games, by the way. So for two to three minutes, uh, player one, which is you, Vadim, the guest slash client slash contestant, mm -hmm. share something they want more clarity on, a problem they want to solve, a goal they want to accomplish, et cetera. And then for five minutes, we usually do five to ten minutes, but we'll play it by ear. Uh, all other players take turns making I Wonder statements. So at this point, Vadim, you just, here's what I want you guys to help me with. And then you get to listen. Mm -hmm. So we make I wonder statements relating to what player one has shared. Player one listens and takes in what people are wondering. And then at the end, two to five minutes, you'll share back what you heard that was interesting or made a difference and report on whether anything has shifted or changed for you. Sounds straightforward? As, as straightforward as it can be, I guess. All right. Okay. Um... What... Uh, what is something you want more clarity on, a problem you want to solve, or a goal you want to accomplish? Well, here's the thing. Uh, I have been working on a side business for, for a while now, and it's been ups and downs. Um, initially, Greg and I were um, partnering up on some of the ideas and bouncing them back and forth. That led me uh, down the path of a particular project, which, uh, in my opinion, did not quite work out. And I did not process that uh, very well. Uh, it discouraged me. I took a hiatus for about two years going back to the corporate life. And now I'm back at this uh, journey. We're trying to build a side business in parallel to my job. Now, what, what I'm trying to understand is there's so many things that I want to learn. And on the back of learning them, I also want to do. And I'm coming up against a terrible uh, understanding that I it's not that I don't have the time, and I do, but the mental capacity that it requires to go to work, come back, do all of the things that you need to do, and then be able to master up the courage and the willpower to just sit down and do it uh, is difficult. And, and, I'm, and I'm struggling with the motivation uh, sometimes, and I'm struggling with the trade-off that I'm making every single day between, let's say, go out with my son to play um, snowball, uh, have a snowball fight uh, versus sitting down and uh, creating a landing page. So those things inside of me create a bit of a... Um, uh, dichotomy and this dichotomy uh, results in less than productive uh, work that I'm doing. So I want to do this and I'm trying to do this. And as soon as I'm doing that, I feel guilty about doing it because I, I feel, I think I should be doing something else. All right. So uh, Greg, if, yeah, it would be interesting to see yeah. what how i wonder works so i'm gonna put on a 10 minute timer because there's a lot there <laughs> mm. and uh elaine lynn and i will just there's no order to this we'll just kind of randomly go through and uh just make i wonder statements and you just see how they land for you and, and what happens and we'll, we'll check back in with you at the end of the 10 minutes sound good sound good all right off we go mm. First thing I wonder about is is this idea of of mustering up the courage and willpower that uh, you know I wonder how it would be different if uh, if it didn't require courage and willpower to do these things. It, uh, it it didn't quite come out there um, from Vadim, I don't think, but I guess uh, what I'm wondering is. He, he said that he did a side business before and he's now trying to set up another side business parallel to his job. And he, he went through some, um, he talked about motivation and trade-off. I guess what I'm really wondering about is what's his why for this side business? Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, when he said, you know, it's not a thing about time and yet, a whole lot of stuff that sort of came out after that that 
like it made me think, I wonder, really? Mm -hmm. Not about time? Mm. Or let's say not only about time. Yeah. There's also mm. a time element in me. Yeah. And I, w I wonder what... Um, what the urgency is, you know, that, mm. that I wonder if he could have his job and he could have his time with his, to, to get hit in the face with snowballs from his son and, uh, uh, and have time to work on his side business without a, an expectation of a deadline or a time of it. It's just, you get done when you get done and enjoy the process. I wonder how that would be different. Mm. Yeah, and I wonder from there if, if in in you know there's there's sounds like there's a lot going on there, and that indeed time comes back to this because once the willpower and the motivation and the and the the idea that this that say side gig is actually up and running. I wonder if Vadim knows that you know it is indeed time centered because yes, maybe right now he won't have time to do the snowballs with his kid with his kid, but that will happen. And right now, all that is going to happen because that side gig is up and running. One of the things Vadim said starting out was um, that he had a project before that didn't work out and he didn't process that so well and became discouraged. I wonder if he has something within him, some reservation around following this through and maybe it not working out and that's causing some hesitation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, w I wonder if that's where some of that guilt he mentioned comes from, is the, I'm putting all this time into something that may not work again. Mm. Um, yeah, and I wonder if there's some kind of, you know, see, I told you so, going mm. on there. <laughs> mm. yeah. He mentioned uh, learning and doing it, and I wonder mm. if... He appreciates how much he learned on that last go around that's informing what he's doing now that, uh, you know, it's, I often hear people say, you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. But, you know, when you're taking learnings from having done something before doing it again with that learning is, it's, it's not doing the same thing. It's doing it differently. So, um, you know, and also, the, I wonder if Vadim knows, even if this doesn't work, it doesn't mean that he's failed or um, that he's not competent or smart or good at what he does. It's just more learning, more grist for the mill. Mm. And that the, the, the courage he spoke about actually is already proving itself it's already there he is actually doing this job mm. courage that would have been so i wonder i wonder if he knows where where courage actually comes from mm. but he mentioned a few times motivation and i wonder if he feels like he has to feel motivated to continue what motivation looks like for him. One thing I've realized as my uh, kids have gotten older is that they've been watching me. <laughs> and I wonder if Vadim knows that he's modeling for his son how to uh, manage his time, how to go, f go for what he wants. Um, you know, how to be a, a, a good dad, all those, those things. I 
just at the end, he said, um, he has this dichotomy of I want to, I feel guilty and somewhere in the middle I should. I guess I wonder what's in that should. I'd be very curious mm. to understand a bit more about the should. At the beginning, he mentioned, sorry, Go the, ahead. the the ups and downs of a thing. And I wonder, even there as well. Or rather, I, I wonder and I ask myself, isn't life always up and down? We keep on going up, you know, we'll shoot off into the sky. And if we keep on going, we'll be down under the earth somewhere. It has to be balanced, the two, but not one without the other. I wonder if he mm. knows that. Yeah. Even the idea of ups and downs means there's some kind of fixed point. And I wonder if... Yeah. The demon realizes that's made up too. <laughs> yeah. I wonder, regardless of the two businesses, the the the, the job he's in now and the side gig. Regardless of those, what uh, what brings him joy and uh, how if he had everything in place, how he would spend his time, ideally. Mm. Yeah, I was going to say that something similar, which is that I wonder if Vadim has a clear vision for if everything was exactly the way he wanted it to be, how would he know? What would he see, mm -hmm. hear, and feel that would let him know that everything was just as he, he wants it? Also, because of, of the relationship I have with Vadim, I know that when he's um, doing this work for his side business, he's jazzed up. Like he's, I wonder if he realizes just how different he is when he's doing that work versus how he is when he's talking about his job. <laughs> and then he, even if it doesn't work out, like just being in that space, that creative um, frame of mind and being in flow, the, the benefits that has in and of itself. I wonder if there's very simply a financial aspect that requires Vadim to actually have a side biz or if it's simply purely because he wants to have a side biz but it, I would wonder about what what's the imaginary, let's say, driving force of doing that is, mm. or or if he wants to get out of the, of the other job, or what what his main objective is, mm. with the very fact that he's introduced something that seemingly appears to be time consuming and it's taking away his own personal space and time with his family and all that. So, what actually the driving factors really are, and 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 if if he could really see that. You know, would that be of help to him mm. to make further and better choices? I wonder if there's some flavor of I'll be happy when I play that, you know, when my side business is up and running or when I make X amount of dollars or when I'm able to, uh, you know, go on more vacations or, or quit my day job and have my side hustle pay my thing like what are all the, you know, and, and how, how, um, I don't know, deep does that run? And I, I'll be happy when idea, if it, if it's there at all. There's our time up. Our time. Oh. Ooh, there's a lot in there. So Vadim, I'm really curious to hear what, uh, what landed for you, what got you thinking or curious. I wonder, I wonder what yeah. landed for Vadim. <laughs> yeah. If well, anything was helpful. I, I think I think everyone on this call is old enough to know, but as, as you were talking, the only thing that was uh playing through my head is the old and the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon, little mm -hmm. boy blue and the man on the moon. Mm -hmm. You know that song? So that's mm -hmm. that's 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 my that's my driving force because at the end of the day, 
Um, uh, Elaine's comment about financial aspect uh, landed uh, crisply because it's um, it's an unresolved uh, question because uh, what what is the effort versus the uh, payback? Read your point about uh, what happens what happens afterwards or will this ever stop? Which is something I choose not to think about, but should really because even if everything's in place, everything's running. Does it mean that uh, this all of a sudden gives me my time back? Probably not. In in fact, I know it's not because it's going to demand other things to be to be done. So, haven't thought it through, really. But what um, what what I will say is that, and all three of you spoke about this. Um, at the uh, in the moment. Everything is great. I mean, if, if you're if you're if you're honest with you, if I'm honest with myself, everything is fantastic. Having said that, time is finite. So um, every every single minute we dedicate to something, we're not dedicated to something else. And um, I guess the biggest thing that I'm taking away from your discussion is, I don't know if I have, I don't know if I have my. My values straight, first of all, and the trade-offs that I'm willing to make for those values, second of all. Hmm. And see, and this is how you keep the audience quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, is that a good place to wrap up game number one? And uh, are you up to... to Play another one. We might be able to build off of this this one, or or do something else. But uh, depends what what the wheel has in mind for us. Game number two. Hmm. <laughs> What's what you want, what you really, really want. So similar to the last one, we'll talk about something you want more clarity on. So it can even be built, like I said, building off of what we just talked about, if there's something in particular, or or it could be something completely different up to you. And then uh, the three of us will have a conversation about what we're curious about. So this time we're going to be asking you questions. But first, amongst ourselves, we have to come up with a question. So we're going to have a conversation about what we want to know. And then we agree to one question to ask player one. And then we ask it, player one answers, and then the other players do another round of discussing and ask another question, and this repeats for 15 minutes. And then we'll come back to you at the end uh, to see what insights or shifts you've had. Sound good? Yeah. All right. So, Vadim, tell us what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> I want to uh, be able to welcome the sunrise on the beach with a laptop while writing my book. Mm. Nice one. Yo. <laughs> well, you asked me. Yeah, that's Absolutely. good. So, guys, what, where do we go with that one? Yeah. What, what are we curious about? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, just, uh, I'm curious, first thing to know if, if indeed it does have anything to do with what we've just spoken about that would be for sure mm. i would be wanting to know if that really is connecting yeah is that is that the ultimate goal of, of what we talked about yeah yeah that would be the first thing i would want yeah. to know and then um well if, if that would be what he really 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 wants i'd be very curious to know what that looks like in terms of of what he's living right now but in terms mm. of everything like is that you know swigging at mojitos on the on the hammock on the on the beach with his pc does that have his family with him does it without the family is it you know is it has he sort of brought the whole family with him from mm. from whenever or, or or you know is he doing something else as well or is that just kind of the evenings or like what does that really look like yeah and what does it feel like? And what does it sound like for him? Yeah. Shall we ask him that to paint paint a, a 
a more detailed yeah. picture of that vision for us? Yeah, I think so. All right, Vadim, can you give us a more detailed picture of that vision of being on the beach? Like, are you with your family? Just what, what's the whole scenario looking like for you? Now, in this, in this particular scenario, I am on the beach. I'm uh, by myself mm -hmm. and with my own thoughts. Now, there is, uh, there is a comfortable house, a couple of minutes walk away, and uh, the, the family is likely still sleeping. Mm. And that's, uh, that's, that's why I had this opportunity to do this. And this all happens um, at about a pleasant 25 degrees with no humidity, with uh, clear mm. lapping waves on the shore. And uh, at the same time, there's a, there's a little cafe on the, on the way back, which is just going to open up and I'm going to grab a little espresso and then the day will begin. And the day will begin with the, with a pace that's been set by the writing yeah. on the beach right before the sunset. And as the sun goes up. Mm -hmm. oh. I love that. Yeah. It's my time. Let's put it this way. And I, and I love yeah. the, where, where Elaine went right off the bat is, yeah. is if I, if I'm there myself. Mm. And like, I'm curious to know at this point. Like that's, it's a wonderful, it's a beautiful metaphor. And as Vadim himself said earlier on, he said, we're all old enough to know that, I, it, you know, there's nothing wrong with a dream. And it and we can like want things and like we just kind of know it's never going to be like that. And so I'm kind of curious to know, really, what is it of the feeling of being on the beach and being alone? And the family is there, but sleeping. And it's like all. 100% okay. So what is it today that Vadim doesn't have as that feeling? Where, where, Where's the gap? Where's the gap? And then eventually how he could go to create that because we all three know that, that the feeling can be available to him anywhere, anytime, any place, even in prison. It was it was interesting. Vadim was so specific. Um, mm. Clearly, there's been some thought given to this, mm. uh, and this I I had this um, lovely feeling of space, and mm. even when he was describing the weather, twenty five degrees without humidity, it's like you know this is specific. Uh, he's trying to create a, a very specific thing here. Um, and around the space and time for himself, and if we're thinking back to the last conversation where he's doing more, and there's a little bit of a, uh, as he said, an up and down going on around it. I wonder, I'm thinking back to um, what opportunities does he have now or lack of in regards to the space he's looking for? For himself. Yeah, curious also to know if in the in the no, the twenty five degrees story, like if right now it's too hot or is it too cold? <laughs> Fisher can answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do we want? What do we want to? Ask? Greg, what came up for you? Yeah, um, mine was more, more just a practical thing of is is this a um a like a, a, a limited time vacation picture like for a period of time I want to live like that or is this a this is the new life I want and that's like who knows where it'll go but it's um it's more of a you know a permanent kind of thing um. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Is this a, is it like a holiday vacation temporary thing or is it this is the vision of the future? Yeah. Would, would it be okay if I 
interrupt. You know what I'm like, guys. I mean, if you speak again, you'll get used to me. I tend to interrupt. <laughs> I wonder if, if we could, like the I wonder with that, I think there was a fair bit of something in all of our curiosities. Mm. And maybe if just, if, would it be of any, Vadim, would it be of any use to you just to be able to answer from what we've just said rather than the specific question? I'm sorry to ruin the game. That's all right. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> um. So this is my time to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A answer any of the above, or or what, whatever you want to answer from what we've just discussed. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna answer uh, an overarching thing that uh, is landing as you were discussing this uh, in the background. Uh, this picture is vivid because of the weight it lifts of the everyday uh, necessities. Mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. uh it's it's a permanent state it's not a vacation and that permanent state basically describes the absence not the presence of something but the absence of column responsibilities column need to do just just the simplest thing in the morning on monday you wake up and you have to catch a train that goes to work that that notion of you have to do something and when you mm -hmm. come home you need to park the car and uh, my wife needs to get groceries and we all need to do something. Mm -hmm. And that basically compounds on a daily basis in little grains of sand that create this massive hill that you're carrying. And at one point in time, and this is probably when you get over this. So at, at my point um, of 46, you get to a point is like, shit, I really don't want to be carrying this, but I know I have to. I am good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I'm curious about the have to in in a number of ways. One is, um, you know, according to whom do you have mm -hmm. to do anything? Um, and and the second part is is the, just the framing of any of those things as have tos um, that you know it is, and, and you know. A little ironic for me to say this as a somebody who, who uh, dreaded and hated commuting on the train <laughs> to the city every day, but you know it, it doesn't have to be um, perceived as a, a a weight or as a another grain of sand um, in the background. There's a little yeah, there's a little guy in room. the little one, sweetie. Yeah, those are, those are things I'm curious about more more around the have tos, because mm. um, presumably where in the, his new place, um, at some point somebody's going to have to buy groceries. Someone has to do something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You, you, yeah. Like in, in in yeah, in one sense, uh, that have to is really curious for me as well because effectively, if you want to call it a have to, then you just have to keep on living do you mm. not like you have to get up in the morning and you have to but when you because it, it sounds like i heard vadim and he he was like a little bit choked up with that you know you i felt that responsibility that mm. weight that something mm. that he's he feels that he's carrying around you can just about see it on his shoulders you know if you, mm. if you just have a little look there's sort of you know there's weight there yeah mm -hmm. And sometimes just even, you know, a, a nice deep breath can kind of just give a sensation that the feeling he's carrying around is but a feeling. Mm -hmm. It's actually not, it's not real in the sense that indeed we do have to live in, in this world, in this world, in this economic climate and in this western oriented lifestyle we do indeed have to do a lot of things 
so it's it's the playoff is there. The playoff is not removing it. Is is we you know right rightly said it's like he's going to have to get off his hammock at some point and go do the shopping. <laughs> 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 Because like like we just we're just not built for doing nothing, mm. or we're not even built for not thinking about anything. We're not we're not made like that. Vadim said it lifts the weight of day to day life, mm. and. Um, I, I can I can say speaking as someone who lives in a in a climate that's pretty good and a lot of the year is twenty five or twenty six or twenty seven degrees, I still unfortunately have to do everyday life. Um, okay, I'm out of here. I'm not too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're bursting the bubble. Lynn, here. where do you live? But sorry, I live I, I live in I live in Spain, on the on the Med. Yeah, so, um, but that lifting the weight off everyday life so the piece that lifts the weight off everyday life is that that short space of time in the more i want to go back to where Vadim was and where he, he looked peaceful and uh like there was that you know he's he's on the beach he's got his laptop he's writing there's no one up yet is it is it that piece he wants or is it the the whole not having a routine, not having to, not having to, not having to. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'd really love to know more about, is it that piece of peace that he wants or is it the bullshit around the stuff that we, we think we have to do? We're at time, so maybe you can answer that and then give us his overall thoughts on this discussion. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to answer that. It's a, <laughs> it's, it's a very, no, it's a very, it's a very provocative thought because it, uh, um, images that we build in our heads, they, they are just that. They're usually static or they're short reels, if you will, but they don't string together into the wholesome picture of our life. So, but those, yeah, that, those are, those are very good questions as to, is it just a reprieve that you need a time to be with yourself? And that would be it. You gave me a lot to think about. Let's put it that way. And uh, to answer Greg's question, it's like, what's this have to? Oh, it's all made up. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can point you in the direction of my bank account that would uh, advise that you have to. And uh, uh, just uh, for everyone's context, Greg and I had multiple conversations on the um, clarity approach uh, to coaching versus um, versus all of my challenges that I had with this. And we oscillate. I sometimes see the point and the see the light, and sometimes I go completely different direction where I want to vehemently oppose the, the notion of, sure, yeah, everything's great in the moment, but my mortgage is coming up. And if I don't have the money in my account, well, then you then then there then there are things that happen. But then Greg would say, Okay, so change that. <sighs> uh, <laughs> Vadim, I, I, I just want to share something with you. I spoke to my daughter just three days ago, four days ago, and also three days ago, but roundabout. And she lives, is living, she lives six months of the year in the Caribbean, whose climate is normally year round, round about 25, 26, gets a bit hotter at some point, but not much more than that. She said, it's freezing here. <laughs> 16 degrees, which I know is, is not bad for at least for a UK climate or even whatever. <laughs> Everything like, is relative it, indeed. It's just never <laughs> Everything is relative. before because the climate changed. Yeah. <laughs> and it was like pouring down and they don't have like big downpours. It sort of does misty rain throughout the day kind of thing. So I'm sorry to say it's that, relative. Maddie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is uh, this has been a very fun exercise. I'm glad that I showed up. Yeah, good. Well, thank thanks for playing along with us. Thank I you, don't think you. this is playing really. I think that I think calling it playing is a bit downplaying the mm. value that this provides. <laughs> yeah. You see what? Well, I not so about? much the. I don't think of it as a, a commentary on the value, as no, much I'm... as just the uh, 
Um, I don't know, like the, you know, one perspective could be that talking about major life events and changing your life is heavy and um, hard and all these other, I don't know, for lack of a better word, negative adjectives along it. Or you could approach it as being fun and light and playful. And that's kind of what the Clarity Games, I think, is is trying to point to. I guess, I guess they are. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thank Thanks for joining us. Now I'm going to go back to my routine. <laughs> Answering an email on the other one. Take All care. Right. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Thanks for playing along. We'll see you next time on the Clarity Games.